If you really do have pretty good algebra skills, you should be able to figure out this problem without too much difficulty. All right, so we have this variable expression, y divided by z all over t times y. What is this thing equal to? All right, now we do have a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. So a is z over t, b is t over z, c is 1 over z t, and d is z times t. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through exactly how to simplify this variable expression in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we have this variable expression, y divided by z all over t times y. All right, so what is this all equal to? Well, one of these is the right answer, and let's see the correct solution right now. So the correct answer here is C, which is 1 over ZT. All right, now, if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. Very good. Now, just a tip for those of you that are still math students, uh, never leave a multiple choice question blank, all right? Always take a guess. So if you guess that the right answer is 1 over ZT, well, congratulations. But let's make sure you actually understand the algebra. All right, so once again, we have Y divided by Z all over T times Y. Now, the first thing that we want to do is kind of rewrite the problem, all right? So here is our problem. And we want to express this numerator differently. We have y divided by z. So we have this division operator right here. So let's express this as a complex fraction. So that's going to look like this. So instead of y divided by z, we want to write it this way. So this is y over z, which is the same thing as y divided by z. So this is our numerator. But of course, you can see I have it written as a fraction. And this is going to be uh, very helpful in just one second. And also, I'm putting it in parentheses. Okay, It's always a good idea to put variable expressions in parentheses if they are not there. Now, down here in the denominator, I have t times y. And in algebra, when you want to multiply one variable by another variable, you simply just write those two variables next to one another. So ty is the same thing as t times y. All right, so what we're going to do here is change this expression and work with this expression. All right, so we have y over z over t times y, or ty. Okay, so now what we're going to do is think of this problem this way. So this is a complex fraction, and a complex fraction is a fraction where the numerator or the denominator, or both, is a fraction. So we have a fraction within a fraction. Okay, so we have this numerator, yz, and it's being divided by ty. So we're going to write this expression this way. So we have yz divided by ty. Okay, so now we need to remember how to divide fractions to take this problem to the next step. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so now we need to remember how to work with fractions. Okay, so I have y over z divided by ty. So let's think of this uh, ty as a fraction by simply putting it over 1. So now I have one fraction being divided by another fraction. Now, of course, we have algebraic fractions. And remember, a variable in algebra simply represents a number. So the rules with uh, numeric fractions are going to be the same as these fractions right here. OK, so how do we divide fractions? Well, this is very easy. What we're going to do is change the problem from division to multiplication by flipping 
the fraction to the right of the division operator upside down. In other words, finding the reciprocal. Okay, so we're going to take this ty over 1 and flip it upside down. So now we have 1 over ty, and we're going from division to multiplication. All right, so now we're going to multiply these two fractions, and this is very easy. Okay, so how do we multiply fractions? All we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. All right, so y times 1 is y, and then z times t times y is z t y. All right, now at this stage, we have like factors because all of these uh, variables right here are separated by multiplication. So in other words, this is z times t times y. Okay, so we have a factor y up in the numerator, and we also have a factor y down in the denominator. So we can cross cancel those two factors right there, and we're left with 1 over zt. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, I don't see a 1 up here in the numerator. Well, 1 is always a factor of anything, right? So we have a y right here, so that's really y times 1. So again, we're, go we're going to cross cancel these y's, and we'll be left with 1 over zt. Okay, so again, this is the final answer, and hopefully you understand the algebra to do this problem. Now, if you need help with algebra, let me uh, suggest a few things. One, I have a ton of algebra videos on my YouTube channel, but uh, you may want to check out like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 uh, courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.